looking at today is more of trig proofs and they give a sort of a complicated selection here where they say cosine to the fourth theta minus sine to the fourth theta over sine squared theta is equal to cotangent squared theta minus one something important to remember about these is you want to choose the most difficult side to tackle first well considering that we have only two terms on the right side and we have a division problem with three terms on the left side I'm gonna go ahead and say that the left side is a little bit more complicated so when doing this when we have something like a cosine to the fourth and a sine to the fourth we have the difference of two squares now what we can do with the difference of two squares is we can split it basically factor it so we have more manageable terms the way we can do that is this we can say that the cosine four cosine of the fourth of theta minus sine of the fourth of theta is equal to cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta times cosine squared theta plus sine squared theta our denominator remains the same and so we want to prove that this is equal to cotangent squared theta well what this conveniently shows us is that our cosine squared plus sine squared is actually equal to one and so when we bring it down to our next line we can say we still have cosine squared theta minus sine squared theta except our next term is now just one so that makes our problem a whole lot simpler we still have sine squared theta and so now we're still trying to prove that it's equal to cotangent squared theta minus one so what we can do now is we can split the numerator and we can say that this is equal to cosine squared theta over sine squared theta minus sine squared theta over sine squared theta this is good news for us because now we know that this and this have simple reductions cosine squared theta over sine squared theta is really cotangent squared theta we're subtracting sine squared over sine squared numerator and denominator are the same so that's equal to one and we want that to be equal to cotangent squared theta minus one well lucky us right there I tackled the most difficult side first then I tried to put everything in terms of sine and cosine that we understood and there you have it that's proven